Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today I'm starting a brand new series called How to Code HTML and CSS. So for those of you who have not watched my videos before, I'm pretty new to YouTube. I started my channel a few months back and my first series was talking a little bit about the introduction to JavaScript. Um, I found my audience didn't really know too much about HTML and CSS coming in though. So I thought, why not create a beginner series for those of you who are very new to coding and would like to learn about HTML and CSS right from the very basics. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what is HTML. Let's get started, shall we? If you're watching this video, it's likely because you want to learn to code or make a web page, or you're simply curious and want to know what coding is all about. You're going to love this new video series where I'll teach you all about HTML and CSS and how to make your own web page. This video series is for anyone who is new to coding and wants to learn about web development. I often hear from friends who see me code, oh, that looks so hard, or Jay, I wish I could code, but I'm not smart enough. They laugh in disbelief when I tell them that it's really not that hard to learn. If you find yourself in that same predicament, don't stress. You'll know in a few short videos if you're comfortable learning to code or not. Chances are you'll find yourself having fun along the way. So what are you waiting for? Let's dive in and see what HTML is all about. So what is HTML? Well, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It defines a structure of web pages. They're essentially building blocks for all websites. Now, hypertext seems like a big word. It really isn't. It simply means a text that is used to reference other pieces of text. Markup language refers to the way tags are used to define the page layout and elements within a page. I'm sure you've heard of HTML5. Well, what is it? Well, HTML5 was released in 2014. It's one of the newer ways of writing HTML. Websites are made up of HTML pages. Now, HTML files end in a .html extension. Internet browsers read this HTML file that we produce and then render its content for a user to view, meaning they take the content that we write in this HTML code and then display it in a visual representation in the browser for the end user to see. So what makes up an HTML page? Well, an HTML page is simply a collection of elements, tags, and attributes. Elements being the building blocks that make up the web page, and the tags tell the browser where a particular element starts and ends. Attributes are used to describe the characteristics of an element. Now, we can't just place an HTML tag any which way that we like. We have to follow some special coding structure, or an HTML tag structure, so to speak. So it would look like this. We would have an HTML opening tag and an HTML closing tag. And then the entire HTML document would sit nested within these two tags. Now creating HTML tags is very straightforward. We start by writing a less than angled bracket. Then we write HTML and then a greater than angled bracket. And then further down at the very end of our code, once again, we write a less than angled bracket this time we have a forward slash, meaning it's a closing tag, and then the same letters HTML, and then a greater than angle bracket. Now, within these HTML tags, there are two other very important tags. The first one being the head of the document. So once again, we have an opening head tag with a less than and greater than symbol, and then a closing tag with a less than forward slash, the same word head, and then a greater than symbol. Okay, now after the head tag, we have the guts or the core of the document, so to speak, and this is called the body of the document. So we have our body tag, and once again, the body tag is wrapped in a less than angle bracket, and then a greater than angle bracket, and then we have a closing body tag at the very end, which has a less than angle bracket, forward slash, the same word body, and then a greater than angle bracket. Now, what am I really saying? What really is an HTML document? It doesn't seem to make any sense with these tags, opening, closing. Well, what am I really talking about? Well, think of an HTML document as an airplane. 
you have the cockpit, which is the head of the airplane or the head of the aircraft. And then you have the body, which is the main core of the aircraft. Now the head of the aircraft, meaning the cockpit, that's where we would have the pilot and the mechanics and all the electronics. And the body is where you would have the passengers, the crew, the seats, and so on. Now an HTML document is exactly the same. In the body, you have the different elements that you want to display within the body. And then within the head of the document, you have the important information such as the title of the document and other important features that we'll get into in later videos. Now, how do we start coding? We can't just magically make an HTML page. We need to use a code editor. Now, code editors are basically a type of software that are used by developers to help us code. It's essentially a text editor program that's designed to write and edit source code. Now, some examples of these would be Visual Studio Code, Atom, Sublime Text, Brackets, Notepad++, and so on. Now, the ones I've mentioned here are free and open source, so they're free for download for everyone. Now that you know what HTML is, it's time to start coding. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to set up your code editor and start building your first web page. If this tutorial has been helpful and you're enjoying starting your new coding journey, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can follow along each week and build your confidence in coding. Until next week, keep on coding.